Welcome to The Finish Line with So Very Easy. My name is Laura and today on The Finish Line we are going to finish this little table topper and we're going to do it with no marking. We're going to let the machine do all the work and a straight ruler. Today I will be quilting on my Q20 using the special ruler foot and this is going to make it go quick and easy. The quilting I'm going to do you could do with a walking foot if you want to do it on a regular sewing machine or you could get a foot to do ruler work on your regular domestic machine. The feet for ruler sewing is a lot thicker than a regular sewing machine foot. The foot to do the ruler work is a lot thicker than the regular foot. That thickness helps guide that foot around the ruler. If we use a regular foot, the foot will jump the ruler and then we will hit this acrylic and break the needle and perhaps damage the machine. So it is important that you get the right foot to do the ruler work and that thick side runs along that ruler. This particular foot has a little brass wheel that we can adjust that thickness because what we want is that foot to be able to guide over top of the fabric and yet still staying within that thickness of the ruler. This is also designed for that quarter inch in mind. So from the center of that needle to the outside all the way around is a quarter inch. These acrylic rulers are really thick and strong, but as with all rulers, they will slide unless we put some type of a grippy on the end. You can get little grippies that look like this little tape and that way that little tape will grip onto the fabric and we're going to be able to control it a lot better. The little grippy tapes do work but I like using a product that is going to cover the entire bottom surface of the ruler. This is a spray and I'm going to be able to spray the back of this ruler. Shake the container well, then do a light spray on the back of the ruler. You will be able to see a little bit of opaque color on the ruler. Give this about a minute to dry and then spray a second coat. That second coat definitely makes it a little bit more opaque. This coating does not affect the fabric in any way. This is good even for just regular rulers, but for this ruler work, it really does grip the fabric. When that's dried, that ruler really does stick. I'm gonna thread the machine with this soft green. I use this green all the time. It's called celery and it's a glide thread, which is 100% polyester, so it doesn't give us any lint. And I do get the bobbins to match. These bobbins are designed with magnets on them. So the bobbins stay in there. They give us good tension and there's a lot of thread on these bobbins. My Q20 does have a setting for ruler work, so I will be using the BSR 2. Foot 72, and that's all I'm going to need to do. This pattern was a very simple pattern to make. I started with a package of five inch pre-cut squares and have put corners on them and have just twisted the blocks on every other row. And that has given me this row of diamonds. I want to stitch a quarter inch all the way around each of these areas and that's going to be on each side. So I will be able to put that ruler right along the edge and that foot will guide right along the ruler. When I come close to this area I do want to stop at a quarter inch so then I can go back down on the quarter inch. But to do these corners, I will be able to use the foot as a guide. I'm going to stitch until I come to that area. We have that quarter inch from the center over. So I will be able to stop right there. 
pick up the ruler and continue down. So each of these sections I'm going to be able to use this foot as a guide. I'm starting off of the fabric a little bit. I'm going to quilt down, stop at that quarter inch, and then rotate that ruler. That grip really does hold that ruler well. The idea is that we keep this foot gliding along the ruler and it's very easy to come off. So go slow, glide that ruler while holding this ruler down and a little guidance from the other hand. A lot of rulers do have a little lip on them that you can put there to help you stop at the quarter inch. Now I'm going to turn the ruler and line it up against the green fabric and stitch. The edge of the foot is right there on my line and I know that's going to give me the quarter inch. And down. When we're using rulers, the idea is that we do not have to twist our fabric too much. We're letting the ruler in our hands guide the fabric so the quilt is not moving all over. And I'm going to stitch right off. So there is our first row of stitching. I'm going to do that row along both sides of this green line. I'll put the ruler down following the edge of that green fabric, lower the foot, and stitch to the quarter inch. And rotate. So I'm not moving the quilt, I'm moving the ruler. And stitch right off. That quarter inch really will define this green fabric. Once all of those edges have been defined, I will be filling in the center columns, still following these edges. We could do them all a quarter inch or we could do them random. I want this to have a very modern feel, so I'm going to do them random. I'm still going to use the ruler as the guide. And on the ruler, I do have lines that I'm going to be able to keep things lined up. But I'm not going to worry about that being a quarter inch, a half an inch. I just want to fill these in with lines. So I'm just going to do some quilting all in between these rows in one direction and in the other. So the paths are going to cross. And when they cross, it's going to fill in all the extra areas and be very fun at the same time. So find a line on your ruler, match that line up with either the last row of stitching or one of your seams and start. When I get to a corner, I'm going to stop. I just want the ruler to be straight. And I can use those lines. Go over and continue. By not having to worry about where you're going to stop at these points, it really is going to be random and quick to do. I just want those lines straight. Thank you. 
Some are going to be skinny and some will be big. Now I can go back and forth and continue that same pattern. This really is a fun pattern to do and you can follow any design, any patchwork doing this. These lines are random, they're just straight. And it gives us a good chance to learn how to use these straight rulers. Mastering the speed of the machine and our hand and ruler coordination. And back down. All that straight line quilting is really a lot of fun for a project like this. By not quilting on this green, it really makes that green pop. And I still have all of those lovely lines. And it looks wonderful on the back of the quilt. It's just all of these lines. Having this ruler with that non-slip surface really makes it easy to move the fabric and not have to worry about the ruler moving. And by not worrying where that seam stopped and started, the project went together very quickly. You could do them all at a quarter inch and stop right at the quarter inch marks. You could also start with a quarter inch and go up. So each row is just a little bit bigger. And doing them from both sides will give it a different look. If you're new to ruler work, I'd recommend starting in using one ruler. Learn different patterns from the one ruler, for example, the straight ruler. Get comfortable using it, get some patterns that you really like to do, and then go on to a second ruler. Learn that ruler, then combine those two. Adding a ruler as you go along means you will always have patterns that you can sit down and do right away because you've mastered the one ruler going forward. Ruler work is a lot of fun. Be sure you have that right foot on because you do not want to bounce off of that quilt and onto the ruler. And then after that, there's a lot of different patterns you can do. Pedal to the metal, the ruler does all the guiding. And it can be very simple or very elaborate. I do hope you give some straight ruler work a try. It really is a lot of fun. And thank you for joining me today on The Finish Line. Feel free to subscribe and come on back. Let's see what we're quilting next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.